All right, Mr. Sonko here, and welcome back to another Warcraft 3 replay cast. Today it's a 2 vs 2 on Twisted Meadows between our first team. It consists of our teal orc player, Grubby. Up top we have our dark green human player. What is that, a forest green? I'm going to go with forest green, Yaz. And over on the right side, our purple orc player, Frenzies. And on the bottom, our blue human player, Goosh. Or uh, I'm guessing that's Goosh. It sounds good enough for me, but we're actually going to set the colors uh, so that the team two here is red on the minimap. Or actually red. Yeah, both of them will be red enemies. Um, and I can't really do that for the first team because whatever team I'm on, it actually kind of does that for. But uh, either way, team one versus team two. From Twisted Meadows will speed it on up to the two minute point of the game. All the heroes come out, all the good stuff starts to happen. Whole mess of chatting, and lots of good players in this game on a relatively small map, so it should be pretty intense. Work complete. It's certainly not uh, the longest replay in the world, but uh, not quite a short one either. Maybe first blood there with the uh, Blade Master kill on the peasant. York Mage did get that creep camp down, got the boots of Quilfalas, the Goblin Laboratory creep camp. Grubby moving up into the peon line. And the colors did change around a little bit when I made these We're both red, but uh, you guys probably get the point by now. Far no kills on any of these eons. We're just gonna hide away in the burrows for now. Not gonna be too big of a deal. Gonna send a grunt on over. And we'll eventually take too much damage here and we'll have to bail. Not gonna accomplish too much over here. Just gonna inconvenience Franzies a little bit. And now y'all is going after the small null camp there. Taking grubbies. Still not a lick of experience on the Blade Master, but uh, doing a little bit of economic damage here, stopping these peons for a little while, but at a cost. Also not gaining anything on his Blade Master. The horse of peace kind of situation here. Just of appearance on the Blade Master at 14 health, and is he gonna town portal? He doesn't town portal out and lets himself die there. Not sure what that was all about. Maybe just uh, had a quick sneeze or something. I suppose it happens from time to time. Grubby helping out with some grunts down here. And we'll clear it. Tome of Intelligence and a Talisman of Evasion for Yaz's Archmage. And a Paladin for the first hero. Or Goosh. My life for the whole. Or is it just Gooch? I think the S is silent. Who knows? We can all play along at home and call them whatever we'd like. And did slow Francis down quite a bit. Stronghold's still not complete there, and another burrow on the way. But I'd say losing that Blade Master was definitely worse. And not having any experience at all. Yeah, just a little bit there now. The items were transferred over to Grebby's Blade Master, both the Boots of Quill Falas and the Talisman of Evasion. As they're not too useful on the Archmage, I suppose the Talisman could be fairly useful. Lionhorn of Stormwind on the ground. And I'm not gonna take a look at the base here with the Water Elemental. I'm not gonna see too much. Really much teching going on at all, just sporting riflemen. As the keep for the increased rifle range. Of course, upgrades as well, getting that level 1 upgrade now. Uh, 
research complete. Both sides individually trying to chase each other's units around and almost surround on that grunt. So close yet so far. Gonna be really hungry for this grunt. Grunt thirsty. And finally goes down, only had six health. I think that footman actually took it out. Yeah, now human player going after the golden camp. It's like a potion of mana and ogre strength plus three. Not too bad for the paladin. Just an interesting start for the paladin. I suppose the paladin works fairly well with uh, rifleman start, but I really like that uh, blood mage start, and then you get a paladin after that. Or at least a paladin and then a blood mage after that. And that way you can just funnel your all your mana to the paladin and heal over and over and over. And they get a steal here from Franzis and doesn't look like he did. Got a flute. Did pick up the item though, the flute of accuracy, which is really nice because that's going to help out these footmen, give them all plus two damage. And did get the blood mage second there for Yaws and for Gooch as well. The Teal Blood Mage falls very quickly here and so he'll be transferring that mana away to the Paladin. Whenever he gets low, can still Holy Late one more time before he has to do it. Gonna steal it from the Archmage but wasn't really on long enough. Probably just wasn't even efficient. Torn Chicken goes down very quickly there. Transferring mana to the Shadow Hunter. And now to the Paladin, the rest of his mana. And that's more than enough for a couple Holy Lights now. Very excellent combination there, so. Grubby kind of wiped out there. Lost both the Blade Master and the Torrent Chieftain. Grubby actually going Shaman this time around. Claws of Attack plus six for the Blood Mage, so he picks that up quickly before anybody else did. And Blood Mage thirsty for that mana, going right after the Arc Mage there. All the footmen can get caught up in all of these riflemen here. And they lose one or two, or at least quite a bit of damage along the way. Storm, earth, and fire. Heed my call. And Archmage just killing off a couple of his own footmen there. Denying that experience. Storm, earth, and fire. Heed my call. And Blade Master nearly back in action. That flute of accuracy, really nice. And a rather nice blizzard there, and flame strike, pretty decent hit, a decent number of units. And Ruby may fall here very quickly. But the scroll down portal is going to send him on home, and it's going to move him uh, f like four feet to the right. And so many nets on the Blade Master here, trying to get away. A couple full burrows here are going to be defending as well. And some very low health shamans, just at depth right now. No bloodlust or anything like that. Just really just dispelling. Another really nice hit there, some really low rif riflemen. And it's so hard to even say riflemen because nobody ever gets riflemen. They're one of my favorite units, so I always enjoy casting one with riflemen in it. And Blood Mage just stealing mana from each other. Here comes another nice blizzard hitting the units multiple times. Didn't get out till too late there, pretty much took every wave. Blade Master down for Grubby. Torn Chieftain about to go as well, and Yaws kept him in there. Didn't allow the Torn Chieftain to get back to the base. Oh, 
<laughs> it looks like somebody actually uh, had to pause the game because their laptop almost ran out of juice. My life for the Lord. Now, I go after the expansion here of Yaws. And Grubby in a really bad position. Losing those heroes multiple times hasn't really got much experience on them. Still level two, so they're way behind. And all these shamans not really paying off. The rock on goes down. Thomas drink plus two, and looks like another boots of Quail Thalas. See if he passes those off to the Blade Master as well. Be plus 12 agility for that Blade Master, and he does. And the Clause of Attack plus 6. So now 18 damage for the Blade Master. That is one huge upgrade, but another big upgrade would to be just simply to level. Can't seem to do. And one kill. We'll level that Blade Master to level three. Human and Orc army of the other side of the Red Army. Frenzies and Gooch. Goosh, Gooch. Starting to look pretty big. Nord Overseer gonna fall here. Some drops for Human. Plus of Haste. Franzi's mass buying healing scrolls. Just work compose is not a bad idea at all. Begins, it's a flame strike and blizzard combo. Always a good time. My friend used to do that way back in the day get spellbreakers, archmage, blood mage, and pit lord. And would use rain of fire with it as well. It's fairly humorous. It's a very fun combination. You should try it sometime. It takes, actually takes quite a bit of skill. It's a lot of. Uh, a lot of micro and timing to uh, hit all the units the way you want to. And nice town portal out of there, just because he pretty much got completely surrounded, almost surrounded, uh, by the army teleporting in. So it was certainly good timing. The spirits of the earth guide. Yeah, not much cash uh, going right going on right now for Grebby. Could use an orb of lightning in the mix. For a little bit more damage, gonna go after the rock golem camp in the bottom. It looks like under his opponent's base. As you could definitely use the experience, he's gonna get level two uh, TC, and he's gonna get the blade, uh, blade master level three. So we'll finally have that endurance or as well, which he hasn't had the entire time. Um, not much experience on Grubby's heroes at all. Our town is under attack. And Voodoo Lounge here gonna go down really quick. I get some peons on there, but uh, not gonna last. We'll see what item drops here real quick for Grubby. Give me Atomo Intelligence and Rune Bracers. Which, in the case of this game, not going to help him much at all, those Rune Bracers. And I'm good. Grubby's going to base race a little bit here, but uh, he definitely doesn't have the ability to do that. And 
they're gonna TP out and save the top base. But uh, Grubby just doesn't have the actual damage uh, within his unit to do all that much. Yaws TP back, and Grubby will lose his entire base, so whatever he has now is pretty much it. He will not have anything more than that. He's gonna give his opponent a hard time at the very least, and power repair that. Yeah, that banish on the Blade Master, pretty good, keeping him away. The Orc army not looking so hot. They have certainly seen better days, all of them about to have health at least. Our town is under attack. And looks like Grubby actually GG'd out. Our forces are under attack. And Yaws. The only thing left gonna use Grubby's units, I suppose. So far, really, really well played by the red team. Job done. The paladin combination there at the start really paid off with the rifleman. And the blade master group will go down. And the blizzard's just not doing enough in this situation here. Flame strike's gonna hit all these riflemen. And the blizzard's just gonna add to that. But it gets stopped too quickly. And Yaws GG's out as well, leaving our red team uh, that did consist, uh, not these two here, but uh, Gooch and Ferenzi's have won. So pretty good game on both parts, but uh, just um, couldn't quite get the kills that uh, Yaws and Grubby needed to level up those heroes enough to stay in the game. The Grubby's heroes 3 and 2, just uh, not a good day, but that certainly does happen from time to time. Hope you guys enjoyed the replay, and I'll see you guys next time.